Hi, Hi, Jay. Hi, Jay. Yes. Uh, to our camera um, people here, could you show him, please? Hello, sir. What is your name again, Paul? Jay Patao for Malaya Business Insight. Hi, sir. Jay. Yes. Um, I was quite. Uh, um, but uh, the, the very th the, the very thing that you said, Kanina, that marked uh, that made a mark on me was uh, the search for the hometown girl. And uh, we know very very well that Muchanang Pilipinas is also uh, also includes um, the search for you know overseas candidates yeah. who were born. So uh, forgive me for taking uh, that uh, tag quite literally, but so what, what happens to our overseas candidates? Well, she still belongs to a hometown. Her roots belong to a hometown here. So just because she's physically separated from her, her motherland, it doesn't mean that she's not part of her hometown at all. Her roots are still here. They're but, still here. but, you know, Jay, you know yeah. me, my heart, my dream, my wish, was really to give a chance to that young lady in a barangay who's saying to herself, Paano naman ako? How will I be discovered? Yun din ang aking layunin. Aming layunin dito sa Mutya. Layunin din yan ni Fred. Lahat namin dito sa Mutya. We really wanted to give her a break. Whether she's from a barrio or barangay in the Philippines or a little barrio somewhere in uh, abroad, anywhere else. But her roots are still here, so she is not we will not turn her down. We will not turn her down. But certainly we will give the hometown girl here a big break. Whether she will become a beauty queen, or a commercial model, or a newscaster, or a TV host, we will give her that chance. So there are wider opportunities now? Yes. Bigger, greater, more promising. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jay. Thank you very much, Sir Jay. Yes, any other questions from our friends for the press? Hello, Miss Corey. I'm Norman from Hi, Norman. Hi, Norman. Hi. Yes. Finally. My question for you is this. My, my, my understanding is that you will be bringing back Mutiana Pilipinas to the grassroots. So does that mean that instead of focusing on, on polishing the girls for international competitions abroad, you will be plucking out, literally, girls from the provinces to prepare them for the national stage instead of continuously um, playing up on like, where is she competing abroad and right. blah, blah. And I get you, yeah. I get you. We are going to accomplish both if it's uh, possible, but that we can, it is. Because it is doable. There are, there are many stages to becoming a beauty queen. First, they come to us raw, untrained, unpolished, but you know that she's a, she's a diamond in the rough. That's the hometown girl. But simultaneously, as we are training our hometown girls, we are also searching for those who have had experience, but it's not yet their time. It's always a matter of timing in beauty pageantry. And uh, as you can see as evidence from other queens who have failed before, but succeeded in the future because they never gave up. So we are going to achieve both ideal and goals for Mutian and Pilipinas, discover the hometown girl. At the same time, our eyes are still on the international crown. And you heard from Fred, he has committed to you. Unbeknownst to me, he has already committed to all of you. We're after bigger titles and bigger crowns. So I imagine there's so much more work ahead for us at Mutian and Pilipinas. But rest assured, we're not giving up the international scene for our hometown girl. She will shine. We will rule. Thank you very much, Ms. Corey. Thank you. Uh, that, that bigger titles thing is something that Sir really? Fred should exactly. answer so I, later on. I have to meet with Fred. <laughs> Pull him back. He disappeared. <laughs> he Thank did you. not discuss it with me yet. So, But still, I know it's in his heart. It's his desire. Thank you, Ms. Corey. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, any other questions from our friends for the press? Hi, uh, good afternoon. Ferdy from Misosology. Hi, Ferdy. Hi, po. Uh, you have like around 40,000 plus barangays. 42,000. Yes. Yes. 
and you had 80 plus provinces. Mm -hmm. Last year, you had like 50 candidates for the 50th of Mucha. How many candidates would you be getting this year? Actually, Fred was thinking of 30 this year. It was only 50 because of the 50th year. But it depends on the search. We might uh, increase the number of candidates depending on our, our harvest, our yield. This is our first year with the DILG and Liga, so let's see how it goes. We'll take it step by step. Sir Fred said that you had before, um, Muchana Pilipinas had the, the best uh, franchise from around the world of beauty pageants. Well, actually, they, they first started it, yes. really. So uh, are you planning to add more titles for the Mucha this year? That is the plan. Congratulations and good luck. Thank you. Thank you. We cannot do it without your support. Hi, I'm Noli from Hi. OPMI Worldwide. Uh, past, past president of Mutia and Filipinas were both women. Have you had the chance to talk with them, any of them? Not right now, not really, because it ha everything happened so fast. Mm -hmm. When I finally said yes, which was in February, when Liga and DILG said yes in February, right? Everything just happened so fast. I intend to do all of that after the press conference. Promise. Miss Corey, what are the things that you want to implement to further uh, empower the women of Mutia and the organization as a whole? Mm. You see, discovering women and training them to be beauty queens is good. It's an exciting and challenging goal and it's something that will fulfill the heart of a woman, right? But however, we also want our women to go on a journey into themselves mm -hmm. and to realize that they do have the power inside them. It's all about women empowerment and taking charge of their lives and not blaming other people for the, for the uh, direction of their lives, taking responsibility for themselves. And when they do, they take responsibility for their own community, eventually their own country. We are developing model women the model Filipina, more than anything else. Thank you, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, more questions. Uh, good afternoon, Miss Cory Carino. This is Tristan from the Philippine Pageantry. Hi, Tristan. My, hello. My question is, uh, is regarding your um, dream of finding that hometown girl that you failed to do in your previous pageant organizations. So what, what was the reason that made you feel that and to move away from the pageant scene and go back now and that how can you assure us that you'll be able to find that dream finally? We're never sure about anything in life but I just follow my inner radar, my instincts and my passion and I, everything is just, just falls into place naturally. So with the help of formidable partners like DILG and the Liga and with such a supportive partner like Fred I, I am so grateful because whatever it is I want for Mutia, he says yes. So it's just all the doors are open and I think it's all systems go for us. We will not be stopped because I know that we will fulfill that dream of ours. And I know the Liga and the ILG have already started their call out to the 42,000 barangays. I'm so excited because I don't know what to expect, and yet my expectations are so big. So everything that comes our way is going to be a blessing. And we want to be given the chance to be a blessing to every Filipina out there. So how are we going to go about trimming down the 40,000 uh, delegates? I don't know, but in the end, Capitana Eden wants her own mutya ng liga ng barangay, di ba, Capitana? I said, this is so huge. This is really huge, but exciting and promising. So we're going to reinvent ourselves as we go, as we go along. Uh, best of luck and welcome back. Thank you, and thank you for your support. Thank you very so much. I'm so happy with the presence of media here, Justin. Yeah. They're all here, 101% attendance. I love it. Oh, also, I also, I think that the Capitan was saying it's 42,044, to be exact. 42,044 barangays to and be exact. And growing. Huh? And growing. <laughs> Hi, good afternoon. I'm Voltaire from Rampart. Voltaire, welcome. Thank, Thank you, you for being with us. Thank Hi. you. Um, you know, you hold yourself 
with such regal bearing up there, and the way that you've answered this whole time, I'm quite impressed at how you handle the questions. I think that um, when you do the search for the Mutiana Pilipinas, are you going to be very involved in the training of the girls from the grassroots yes. all the way up? Yes, that is my commitment. That's also the commitment of the ILG and Liga. They'll be joining us, holding the hands of every candidate and making sure that they have every opportunity for growth. And so part two of our, uh, our uh, dream is to meet all the scouts, the talent managers, talent scouts, up to the hairdresser and the makeup artists are de developing the queens. Mm -hmm. We want to meet them. We want to embrace them. We want to make them a part of the Mutianang Pilipinas family. And we want to say thank you. That's very discovery. beautiful to hear because yes. I think with some other pageants, there's a disconnect when it comes to the handlers, the camps, mm. and, and the girls because they don't know sometimes, do I listen to my camp, or do I listen to my trainer, or do I listen to my organization? But with that approach, I think you're well on your way to a great job. Mm. It's really all about um, being a family, mm. and um, it has to be win-win for everyone. And I know it would be almost impossible to go to 42,004 barangays, 44 barangays, but I know it can be done, and I know a talent scout out there in 42,000 barangays is already saying, I've got your girl for you, your hometown girl. So I hope that with the spirit of cooperation that we can make this happen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.